Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and I am back with another Traveler's Notebook process video for you guys. It's been a minute <laughs> since I've had one of these and it's kind of been a minute since I've had any videos up. Um, I've kind of been in a creative slump and I had major technical difficulties and I was away on this trip that we're documenting. So it's been a little crazy but I have several videos filmed and ready for this week so stay tuned for those. Um, but today we are going to be documenting some photos from um, um, a recent trip that we took to Sequoia National Park. We did some camping and so I have got tons and tons and tons of photos to document so be ready. I'm sure there will be several videos <laughs> using um, photos from this trip um, but I can't wait to get them all in this little booklet here. So I am working in a traveler's notebook insert that I created myself. I will link the uh, paper that I used for the inside um, down below for you guys. It's by Navigator, it's Navigator or something like that. Um, I had a lot of questions about what paper I use for my insert. So I will link that down below. And I am primarily using products from Felicity Jane today. Um, and Felicity Jane is in the process of moving their company to a different state. And so the store is closed down temporarily um, and so I'm sorry about that you can either take this as inspiration and use it with products that you already have or um, hang on until they're back open <laughs> I don't know I just I didn't want to not use these products because they're in my stash I paid for them I'm going to use them so sorry guys um, but I have this large photo of um, the General Sherman tree, and this is a sequoia redwood tree. It's the largest tree in the world. It's not the tallest or the biggest round. It just has the most mass, so the most wood in a tree, um, and it was amazing to see. And when I initially planned on putting this spread together, I really wanted this photo to be um, big enough to completely cover that left hand side of the spread but i didn't have eight and a half by 11 photo paper i don't know what what happened <laughs> like i used to have tons and tons of it i couldn't find it so i printed it on four by six and it actually ended up working out just fine um, i just used some paper from felicity jane as the background and then this washi tape is actually from felicity jane as well um, felicity jane had a huge sale right before they closed the shop and so i was able to stock up on all kinds of fun things that i did not have um, i haven't been documenting in a traveler's notebook very long and so i don't really have a whole lot of products for it so you will see a lot of Felicity Jane but I am uh, on the wild hair kits team that's a new design team that I was just um added to and so starting in August I will be receiving kits from them and products from them and designing for them and so you will be getting to see a lot more travelers notebook processes and a lot of different um products from different paper companies so be ready for that and uh, on that note I would say if you're not subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe if you are a subscriber or whether you're subscribing today be sure to hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button um, YouTube has changed their algorithms once again and just because you're subscribed to me does not mean that you will get my videos in your feed all the time unless you click on that little bell icon to where you're notified when I post new videos. So if you don't want to miss any future videos, make sure that you are subscribed and click on that bell uh, icon there. So that's just a little housekeeping thing there. But uh, on screen, I'm not doing anything revolutionary. I am just matting my photos on some different papers. Uh, I initially thought I would only print my photos in black and white because in that way I wouldn't have to really contend with the colors in the photos um, but when I printed these ones in black and white there just was not enough contrast because there's just so much going on and just all the naturey browns and greens and so my kids really got lost in the photos and so I decided to go ahead and challenge myself to print them in color and I think it was fine I decided to just use this kind of minty green um, and then I end up bringing in some red as well but I try to keep the color of the products really simple um, so that it doesn't really clash or take away from the photos um, and so the bottom photo is the three of us at the base of the tree which is crazy it was so big 
Um, I grew up in the Pacific Northwest, and so we have coastal redwoods up there, so they're a little bit different. Um, so this was kind of like going home. It was so, we had such an amazing, amazing trip. Um, the top photo there of the two boys, Aiden was super hormonal and super grumpy the whole three days that we were camping. So every photo of him is like grump face, and he was super mad that I put it in this booklet, but maybe that'll teach him for our next trip to not be super grumpy. <laughs> Uh, here is a stamp set from Felicity Jane, another one of the things that I picked up from their sale. Um, and I'm going to pull this little adventure piece. I specifically bought this stamp set because I knew we were going to be doing a lot of traveling and fun things um, this summer, and I liked some of the little sentiments and things. And so I'm inking this up with a deep scarlet red big brush marker. Um, in the photos, I am wearing a red t-shirt and Connor is carrying a red like backpack. And so I kind of wanted to pull out just a hint of that red. So it wasn't just that mint and the black and white. I wanted just that little pop of red. And I also use that red label over on the left-hand side of the spread to kind of bring that over there. So it's not super overwhelming, but I wanted to just kind of pull that color out because it is noticeable in the photos. So I'm gonna let that hang off the page a little bit. And then I will take, this is a roller date stamp from Illustrated Faith, but you could use any roller date stamp. And I do wanna make sure that I date all my entries so I can remember <laughs> when they were. And I noticed after I finished this, I did not write which kid was which. I have identical twins, if you didn't know that. And so I usually try to write which kid is which. Um, so I may have to go back and journal that in there somewhere so I don't forget um, just a little Aiden is grumpy or something like that. But, and all these little uh, ephemera pieces are from Felicity Jane as well. Uh, and just kind of wanted to fill in some of those blank areas. Uh, I had a question recently about what size I print my photos at and it is random. I usually try to take my photos in square mode so I can print them in either like three by three, two by two, four by four, um, that kind of thing. But with this trip, trip with the trees and things and I used two different cameras I kind of had a variety of photo sizes and so I was this was a little challenging for me to use different size photos use the color photos so it ends up being a really simple spread but it was a challenge and it was a good thing to get me out of my creative rut uh, I've just really I don't know it's summer and it's hot our air conditioning broke it's over 80 degrees in my house <laughs> during the daytime so going back into my office and creating is just not something i want to do right now so uh, i need to get I need to get back in the swing of things if you have any tips for like jump starting your creativity please let me know um but that is the finished spread there if you have any questions or comments be sure to leave those down below head on over and check the blog post for up close photos and links to all the products used of course those will be felicity jane links so they may May not be active but they will in the future <laughs> give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and until next time thank you so much bye bye